And then I looked out of the corner of my eye, and that's when I saw someone standing behind his door. And that's when I took the broom and I started swinging it, hitting him, saying, get out of my house. My son's that Brockton woman describing the moment she found a man inside her son's bedroom. She says she went to go clean his room, and that's when she sees this guy and goes after him. And tonight she's describing how she swept out that suspect. The 19th out of Bagney spoke to the mom. He joins us live in Brockton with the story tonight. Yeah, Kim and Ryan, and after this happened, this mom said that she was shaken and scared, but in that actual moment, it was completely the opposite. I just kind of started whacking him. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. You mother, get out of my house. A terrifying encounter yesterday for a Brockton mom inside her own home. After dropping off her eight-year-old son at school Wednesday morning, the woman says she walked in the door and up the stairs, but something just wasn't right. So I looked to where the PlayStation was to see if he did anything, and then out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone standing right there. The 45-year-old says she grabbed a broom to clean up, but instead of gathering dust, it quickly became a weapon. At first, it was definitely like adrenaline, I believe because normally I'm a baby and I'd be running out of the house. The woman, who asked that we not use her full name, says she then scrambled to a neighbor's house and called 911, rattled but unharmed. And I was scared, then I was shaking, then I was screaming, crying. Unfortunately, the victim says she didn't get a good look at the guy, who also broke down her basement door. Police say they used a canine unit, but the scent went cold a couple streets away, and no one's been arrested. Meantime, this mom remains stunned that after nearly five decades in the same house, she came face to face with a burglar. What do you say to people who say you're pretty brave? I laugh. I'm like, oh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> I, I had to be, I guess. And that homeowner says that she believes there may have been a second burglar that was hiding in the basement. All told, she says they got away with roughly three grand worth of stuff, most of which was electronics and jewelry. We're live here in Brockton. I'm Adam Bagney, 7 News 19.